guess where we are this weekend. Guess yet? Not in the Washita's. The Ozarks. Right on. And Kelly, why did we choose the Ozarks this weekend? Well, the weather, but there's also a hike that we want to do. Two hikes. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, we always choose where we're going by the weather and it was going to be slightly warmer in the Washita, so we decided to come to the Ozark and we're by this beautiful creek. Yep. Hurricane Creek, right? No, yes. And I might have to put some warmer clothes on. So yeah, when we first got here, it was slightly warm. I was actually kind of worried. I was like, ugh. Then the sun went behind that ridge and now it is pretty decent once I put some shoes on and a sweatshirt. So I'm gonna change, be right back. And we're back. Tonight I'm making my three cheese mac and cheese and I cannot wait because I'm so hungry. What are you doing? <laughs> Not all with it today, guys. I'm sorry, I don't know if he is, but I'm ready to get going with dinner. And by the way, I kind of lied to Kelly about something. Mm. I said, honey, when we get there, there's gonna be some nice rocks you can chill mm. out on. I forgot it rained all week mm -hmm. and this is extremely high. Yeah, I was like, well, I only see like one rock right there. I mean, every but time we've fine. ever been here, it was like ankle deep, so. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, we didn't know. Anyway, gonna get dinner going. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> As you can see, the four chairs behind us for two people. Oh, we yeah. still haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> hey, not only do we have four chairs, we have two hammocks, four chairs, and then mm -hmm. sometimes two loungers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For two people. But today, just the four chairs. Well, we slept so great last night, and the water has already dropped. Cody predicted that rock would be uncovered, and it almost is. Cool, that means I can hang out down there. 
And I can go waterfall hunt later. Sure. So I'm making um, breakfast burritos with just the potatoes, jalapeno, and egg this morning. I need that for my energy today to get strong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. It has warmed up quickly, which is nice. It feels so good. The sun is shining. But Cody is looking at a map over here because he has plans to hike to this waterfall. I think I'm gonna stay here. I know y'all are probably like, gosh, Kelly, why don't you ever go anywhere? But we have plans to hike tomorrow and I am exhausted. I had a rough week. So I kind of just want to chill out, lay in the sun and catch up on uh, relaxation. But Cody, he's he's a go-getter. Guys, I need to let Kelly know exactly where I'm going to be because if I don't come back, she'll know how far I went in case something bad happens. So right here, honey, where this mm -hmm. creek comes in off Hurricane Knob and goes down, yeah. that's as far as I'm going. So I'm going to go there and then turn back around. And we're I, where? We're right here. But I'm fishing and go, so I'll be safe, honey, and okay. I'll try not to die. You better not. What am I supposed to do? I don't know, just keep living, man. Just keep living. Well, I'm gonna go do yoga. All right. So I've made it to the switchback where I'm about to dive off into no man's land. But I gotta find a place to enter it. This looks pretty promising. Oh. Looks like we got a little game trail right here. Done it. It's usually the hardest part is trying to get through all the clear cut where the little short overgrowth or undergrowth is. But man, we got right on through there, didn't we? That's so cool. Who else geeks out over moss? I hope it's not just me. I mean, look at this, guys. Right here. Got a little rock outcrop with some water trickling. <laughs> you know, you know. Guys, y'all have got to check this out. I'm just hiking along. And there's this massive rock outcrop here. Looks like something the Lion King would be on the top of. With Zimba. Man. How cool is this? You know, I don't even know how long I've been hiking, but this has been a pretty awesome uh, hiking experience so far. Found another creek coming in, but there's multiple waterfalls coming from it, going into Mill Creek. This is so cool. Look at this. Is that not one of 
of the coolest things you've ever seen. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I want to get up there, but I'm not going to continue up that way. I told Kelly I would stay on this creek. I will not divert from that, even though I really want to. I have been eyeing this slab of rock way over here. It is in like the perfect area for sun. So I think I'm going to pack up my yoga mat, my water, and I'm going to try to gracefully go across this rock over here and lay out because it sounds nice. They should change the name of Ozarks from Ozarks to Land of Waterfalls or something because there are so many waterfalls here. Man, I really hope we can get back down towards this creek in a minute, guys. We're kind of on up here. And we're just going up. I know I should have crossed the creek earlier. I'm just going to try to we'll go down right here. Made it down. What do y'all think so far? Pretty cool? Huh. Arr. Arr. <laughs> Is that not cool? Holy shnikes, man. This right here is what we talk about when we say don't just tour, explore. Because when you're a tourist, you know what to expect. You've seen pictures of it. But if I was to tell you and send you pictures of stuff and then give you the exact location, you'd be like, okay, I know what to expect. And if you get there, your expectations might be like here, but you're really here and you're just not that impressed. But when you don't know what's around the corner, it gives you goosebumps. I always talk about how the Washita's were formed, but I've never told y'all the history of the Ozarks. See, the Ozarks are much, much older than the Washita's. There's four regions. There's the St. Francis region, there is the Salem region, the Springfield uh, region, and the Boston Mountain region. And each one of those are plateaus, and it originally started with the Springfield area being an ancient volcano that had a beach around it. Well then, whenever the water started uh, receding away, the next plateau was sand around the beach and that became the Salem Plateau. And then it occurred again as it kept going down and then you had the Springfield Plateau, which was a little bit lower. Well, whenever the Washita's were formed, it uplifted and compressed everything real tight. A couple weekends ago, we were in Albert Pike and you saw how sharp and tight those mountains were. Well, then when you start getting to the middle where we were last weekend, the mountains start getting a little bit wider and the valleys are bigger. Then when you get to the Arkansas River Valley where the uh, Mount Magazine, Mount Nebo, Petty Jean's at, all that just kind of got uplifted at an angle instead of being compressed. Well, that 
went over to the Boston Mountains, all that got uplifted as well because of the Washita's. And those things used to be 14,000 feet tall, all eroded away. Then whenever the Rockies were being formed, it created the Arkansas River, which cut through the middle between the Washita's and the Ozarks, creating the valley. And that's how the region here was formed. So it's a, it's a completely different animal, completely different feel. There's fossils all on the ground from uh, sea life. I mean, it's pretty cool stuff. Kelly's gonna be jealous that she didn't come, but I am so glad that y'all got to come with me. This is awesome. Well, little update. It's 1.30 and Cody's not back yet and I'm bored. My yoga mat's hot. It's black. I forgot a beach towel. Um, yeah. I wish I had a Herbalife shake. Yeah, so I'm just waiting. He should be coming from that direction. I don't know what this button does. Anyway, um, I'm bored. Awesome is that I mean seriously come on come on really however I'm about to head back and go check on Kelly she is just laying out guys she don't she ain't worried about me you ain't worried about me are you waterfall, waterfall was epic was it how calm oh man it was probably what would y'all say guys about 15 foot maybe something wow. like that 10 10 to 15 maybe 12 i'm gonna say 12. man did you bring my bathing suit no because you don't lay out you can't get in this water oh i was gonna get in the water, in the water? well dude i'm sweating just get up in your underwear i like your style Kelly. <laughs> Real talk, we just got cleaned off and here's the real talk. Kelly is afraid. Kelly is afraid to cook something that she has never cooked in her life in the forest. And I'm afraid too, but she cooks it all the time at home. How afraid of you, sorry, not of you, but how afraid are you of what you're about to cook? I don't know, I'm not that scared, but I'm making homemade pizza and homemade pizza dough. At home, I usually make it in my KitchenAid mixer with the dough hook. So you make the dough, you let the dough rise for an hour, and then I, of course, I usually bake it in the oven. My oven is too small, so I'm gonna use the uh, Dutch oven down here. So, it's gonna kinda be a small pizza, I think, but I think it'll fill us up, I hope. But you were, she, guys, she's playing it off. Earlier, she was really concerned about her dough. No, I mean, I'm concerned, but I'm not that concerned. Don't let her lie to you. Do not let her lie to you. Y'all are going to be in the whole entire process of how this goes. This is not gonna be no music. This is full on. Let's see if Kelly can make this happen. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to have some flour. And I'm gonna measure up two cups of flour. And for me, this usually makes one large um, dough. What, did a bug just go in there? It did. It did, but it will be protein. I'm gonna take that and put it in there. So I've got my flour in my bowl and I'm gonna just do some salt. I have a package of yeast. All right, so I'm gonna take my package of yeast and I'm just gonna pour it all in there. Instead of a dough hook, I'm gonna use a chopstick, but I don't need that yet. I'm just gonna stir and combine all that. Okay, 
And now I need some water. Um, so at home, I usually use hot water. And I'll tell you when, because I, I really don't know how much water I need. I just pour a little until it becomes doughy. Okay, good. You don't want your water to be boiling hot and you don't want it to be warm. You want it to be in between somewhere. So if you're at home and you're gonna turn your faucet on and let the hot water get as hot as it will get, that's what we're looking for. I think my water's done. I'm gonna not pour it straight in there. I just wanna test it here. So I'm gonna pour some in there and see what the temp is. So while I'm waiting on that, I'm just gonna let it chill for a second. I need to use some oil and honey. And you can use sugar if you don't wanna use honey. It doesn't matter what kind of oil. And you're just gonna do like a tablespoon. And that right there, folks, that's Pinnacle Mountain State Park honey. Top notch stuff. Yeah, it's like the best honey I've ever had in my life. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me check my water. I think it's too hot. I'm probably gonna use more than that, so I'm just gonna fill it up. And I'm gonna let it cool off for a second. My water is ready, so I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. And start stirring. Probably like, why are you just, why are you using a chopstick and not a spoon? Well, I'm just trying to mimic the dough hook is all I'm doing. Looking pretty good. Is it really? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of getting impressed here. And I'm gonna add just a smidge. If you do too much water, it's, a mess. It still turns out. I've done it by accident and it still turns out fine. But So this is what you want. You want all of it to pick up on the sides. So I'm thinking it looks pretty good. I think you're doing something right, darling. And I'm just going to kind of roll it on up around. Dude, that's kind of cool. So that's it? That's pretty much the process? Yes. So now I have it in a ball here. I'm just going to kind of get it all together. Okay, pick up any extra. Man, if this, if this turns out, I'll be fully... Can you help me out? Yeah, what can I do for um, you? Pour some olive oil, just go around like that. Okay. Just a little stream around the whole thing. Okay, okay, okay. And, okay. Yep, Is it, am I doing just it? like am that, I... go all the way around. Okay, okay, I'm getting spot. nervous. You're good. Go back over here, get, get some. Right there. I'm getting real, okay, okay. That's good. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I am really, guys, I am really scared. I'm scared too because I'm hungry and if this doesn't work out, I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm not that scared. Okay, so now that's pretty much it. This is dry, but it's not clean. Oh well. So, you're just gonna cover it and we're gonna give it an hour. Let's see what time it is. One hour, folks. So at 6.47, we're gonna be late. 6.47, we'll check it. I just remembered I forgot to tell you guys what kind of pizza I'm making. This is a spicy pepperoni pizza. Uh, I'm going to put some butter in my skillet here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that going. In the meantime, I'm gonna cut this onion up and I'm gonna cut it in half moon slices. And I usually use a half an onion. You can use a whole onion if you want or if you just had a smaller one. This one was kind of big. So I'm gonna slice this up and see how I feel about it. So I'm gonna do them pretty thin. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm making a caramelized onion. My butter is ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my onion in there. So caramelized onion usually takes anywhere from 15, maybe 20 minutes, depending. So I'm, you don't have to cover it up, you just let it go in the butter and kinda Every few minutes, toss it around and make sure it's evenly coated. Onions are done and I kind of burnt some of them. Um, now I'm gonna go over here to my sauce is what I'll be making next. I've got two cloves of garlic. To start my sauce, I'm gonna put some oil in this pan my oil is ready, so I'm going to take my garlic and toss it in here. I'm going to let this cook for a minute. Well, a couple of seconds because it's already browning. And I have some fennel that I fixed up at home. Put that in there. 
And normally I would do red pepper flakes, but I forgot those. Gotta forget something, or it's not a camping trip. Okay, now I'm gonna toss in my tomato sauce. Sometimes that just gets a little crazy. So I'm gonna put in some tomato paste, some pepper, some salt, some oregano. And you can use sugar, but I'm just gonna use honey and you just literally wanna do like, that's probably too much. have some fresh basil and we're gonna toss that in there as well mix it all together and then you want to let it simmer um, until it's really thick it'll reduce down a little bit and be really thick so we'll let that go my dough's ready and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute, but first I'm gonna prepare my surface. Oops. So I've got some uh, cornmeal and I'm gonna mix in a little flour. You all like the uh, arm brace to help hold down the, what is this, wax paper? So this is <gasps> what my dough looks like. It looks like you did it good. And yep, it feels like it normally does at home. So I'm just gonna roll it in all this oil I put in the pan and throw it out on the surface. Um, this is parchment paper. Parchment paper. Oh, my lower back right. hurts. Sorry. Okay, so now I'm just gonna flatten this all out. I'm holding tight, darling. Okay, get some flour and stuff all over it. There's a the little bugger. Got him. I was hoping to eat him. Okay, and I'm just gonna roll my dough out. And I've gotta remember not to roll it as big as I normally do. And I've decided in the cast iron, what I'm gonna do is um, put it on this parchment paper in there and let it cook like that. I thought you threw this up in the air at home. No. You're not that no. skilled? I don't, I'd rather not risk it. You want me to set this up here? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how this works. Boy, isn't that just cool. Ooh, that's going to be a small pizza. What are we going to do? <laughs> Man, we might have to drive into town. Wow, that feels really soft. All okay. right, I've got some scissors in the truck. Okay. All right, do we have a place for this over there? No, but I'll work on it. Let's get that going. While Cody gets that ready, I like to bake my pizza dough a little bit before I put the toppings on it. Usually at home, I just watch it through the window in the oven to see when it's done and I don't really ever time it. So I'm just gonna come back and check it in maybe five minutes and see where it's at. My sauce is done. I forgot to show you guys that this is the consistency that you're looking for. While the dough is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and shred some mozzarella cheese. On the cheese, I usually do a whole package of this, this mozzarella here. But since this pizza is gonna be a little smaller, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna shred half for right now and see where that gets us. Looks like our dough is done. All right, so we're gonna bring this over here and I'm going to put the toppings on it. Then I'm going to do the onion. I'm gonna do a little bit of cheese. Okay. And then some pepperoni. Oh yeah, guys, these are some top-notch pepperonis. What's the brand of that? It's the Private Selection Kroger brand. And if this works out, she's gonna be making a um, 
there's other pizza she makes. This is not the only pizza she makes. And then more cheese. So I'll also make a um, spinach and artichoke pizza with Alfredo sauce, which is one of my favorites. And then I make a butternut squash pizza. Which is one of my favorites. That's more of a fall thing for us. Yeah. All right, she's ready. She's ready, what do I do? Oh, oh, I put it back on the fire. Yep. It's not like we gotta cook the bottom anymore. Yeah. It's just the top, which is on fire, so we're good. Beautiful. I'll throw these on here. Okay, we'll check back in maybe five minutes. All right, guys, we're gonna check it one more time. Y'all ready? Let's see. It's good. That is money. I'd buy that for a dollar. We use the spatula just now because it was firm and we just threw it right up on top of the cutting board. How pretty is it? <laughs> it's beautiful, actually. It's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. Cut that, babe. Yeah. I'm scared you're gonna cut my, oh, it's hot. Yeah, don't cut it. I'm trying to keep it. It's thicker than any pizza you've ever made at home, I'll tell you that. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut small pieces so we can at least feel like we're eating a bunch of pizza. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's done. How gorgeous is it? Ooh, I think yeah. we need to let it cool for a minute. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm very proud of that. That's you fun. are? Yeah. I mean, I would, like if Kelly said this, like, guys, I'm gonna say it straight like this. If she was like, you don't know me, but I'm going to feed you this and I just cooked it and I watched her cook it and she says, now you have to marry me. I would say yes. <laughs> I would marry you. I really would. Man, that's pretty, Kelly. 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 That dough is perfect. This is one of the best pizzas you've ever cooked, and you make amazing pizzas. That dough. It's perfect. With how thick the crust is, you think I'll get full off of this. Okay guys, the plan today was we're gonna go do a hike. We plan on doing two short hikes. The first one is Pam's Grotto. We've done this one before years ago when we first started vlogging. We're gonna do it again because uh, apparently there's a lot of water flow going on. So we wanna see if it's changed and let's hit the road. We are at the Pam's Grotto Trailhead. We did not start over there at the parking because it's so windy. I know you guys wouldn't be able to hear us, but this is where the trail starts on the highway. Which highway is this? This is highway 123. Highway what? 123. So this is the trailhead. And if you can see over there between the trees, that is the parking. And warning, there's a huge dip when you go down. So if you have a low vehicle, be careful. and it is beautiful today.
There you have it, guys. Pam's Grotto, short How height. awesome is it? It is amazing. The, the rock features alone, you've got to come check it out. So on to the next height, and it is the Sphinx. I know I have a list. The Arkansas Sphinx. Supposed to be a short hike. It is in the Ozarks as well. We're going to head there right now. We have made it to our final destination of this beautiful weekend in the Ozarks. Oh, by the way, we had to park here. The county road that we are on. 4840. 4840 National Forest Road. But we are about to see the Sphinx of Arkansas. We're the Arkansas Sphinx. Yeah. The Arkansas Sphinx. And the trailhead isn't, I mean, it's well defined now. Yeah, last year when we drove past here, we didn't hike it because it was in the summer. This is all grown up. Um, and the trailhead was not marked, but we could see it. Now they have it marked. So um, you can see it when you drive and then you'll see where to park. Now we've only driven by it. We've never actually been up here before. No, uh -uh. So this is a first for y'all and us. And it looks like they just did a- Control burn. Quad the burn. I do want to correct her, myself about the trails. They are short, but they are, both of them that we've done today are very steep. I don't know if you can tell, but Kelly's about to go up that right there. Yeah. Get it, Kelly, get it, get it, like a off-road vehicle. Is that all you got? Holy moly, Kelly, look at that. Wow. Oh, wow. Huh. Guys, way off there in the distance. I don't know if y'all can see that. The little Blue Ridge Mountain looking thing. That's the Washita's. You go up. It's gonna be an awesome view. When we get up here, I don't blame you. Oh, we're still going up. What? Dang, nabbit! Arkansas Sphinx. What's crazy is it looks like coral. You want to hang out here or go up more? Mm, let's just go up to those rocks. Or unless you want to stop. Nah, nah. I just want to see if the view of it is... I am a trooper. I am ready for whatever, babe. Guys? It's windy, but I'm gonna risk it. <laughs> Y'all wanna see some drone shots? I think you've flown it windy or not. Actually, I have. You want your water? We made it. Guys, this has been a lot of fun. We've seen a whole lot, uh, some old things we've seen before that we want to share with y'all, but this new thing. This is awesome. Yeah. We both just said we felt like we were out west somewhere, so. I mean, this feels like a hike that we would have done, done in like arid type New Mexico or something. Yep. But right. if you like this vlog, make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. And we will catch you on the other.